हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल नो अबाउट मार्जिनल कॉस्ट एंड एब्जॉर्बशन कॉस्टिंग व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन बोथ फर्स्ट वी विल नो व्हाट इज मार्जिनल कॉस्ट मार्जिनल कॉस्ट इट्स अ टोटल ऑफ वेरिएबल कॉस्ट इट मींस इन मार्जिनल कॉस्ट इज द एडिशनल कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोड्यूसिंग एडिशनल यूनिट्स मार्जिनल कॉस्ट पर यूनिट रिमेंस अनचेंज इट मींस we include only variable cost in marginal cost and if we produce any extra unit then its value is equal to marginal cost or variable cost and absorption costing the total cost technique is known as absorption costing it means we know about the total cost and how total cost calculated total cost means fixed cost plus variable cost in both cost the total of these two cost is known as total cost and total cost is known as absorption costing and we include both in absorption costing but only variable cost include in marginal cost now we will know about how profit will calculate in marginal costing and absorption costing now we will know how profit will calculate by marginal costing method first we will take sales then sales minus variable cost or marginal cost we deduct this in marginal cost we include materials labor direct expenses and other direct overheads we include all these item in marginal cost or variable cost first we will deduct this then contribution will come contribution or we denote it by sign c then minus fixed cost then profit or loss will come so by this method we know about marginal cost and profit or loss uh, by the formula of marginal costing now we will know about uh, how profit will come uh in the method of absorption costing method now we will calculate calculation of profit by absorption costing method in this method we include in costing as fixed cost as well as variable cost uh this is just like cost sheet first we will take direct charges and indirect charges in this hand we include material and labor and these two items include this is known as prime cost and then we include in factory overheads then we will divide it in two parts variable cost and fixed cost then its total is known as works cost or factory cost then we will include in we divided in different parts we include in office and administration overheads we again divided into two parts variable cost and fixed cost the total of these and this cost total after included this is known as cost of production and then in this we will add selling and 
distribution expenses then this again divided into two parts variable cost and fixed cost and overall total this is known as cost of sales now <clears throat> we will deduct sales then the remaining value will come in profit or loan this is known in balancing figure form and by this method we will calculate absorption costing the main difference in between absorption costing and marginal costing is this in marginal costing we don't include we don't include any uh, work in process or any opening stock or closing stock but in absorption costing we include opening stock and closing stock in different stages so we can differentiate it now we will understand this by the help of an example prepare a statement of cost and profit under number 1 absorption cost method and number 2 marginal cost method from the following data and data are given direct material rupees 40000 direct labor rupees 20000 factory overhead it's divided into two parts fixed cost and variable 4000 for fixed cost factory overheads and variable cost for factory overhead 6000 office overheads for fixed cost 7000 rupees and for variable cost 2000 rupees selling and distribution overhead for fixed cost 2000 rupees and for variable cost 3000 rupees and sales is given 1 lakh rupees now we will calculate profit and cost as per both methods absorption cost method and marginal cost method first we will apply by absorption method Calculation of cost and profit by absorption cost method. We will, we already discussed this method. In this method, first we will take direct material direct material rupees 40,000 direct labor 20,000 and this total is rupees 60,000 this is known as prime cost and then we will add factory overheads and this again divided into two parts fixed cost and variable cost this is already given fixed cost 4000 and variable 6000 total is 10000 and this again total 70000 is known as works cost or factory cost then we will add office and administration overheads this again divided into two parts fixed cost and variable cost and fixed cost is given 7000 and for variable 2000 and the total is 9000 we again total it we will show here we again total it and its total is 79000 and this is known cost of production then we will add selling and distribution overhead and this again divide into two parts fixed cost and variable cost fixed cost 2000 and variable 3000 and this total is 5000 again we total it and this is known as cost of sales and this total is 84000 now we will write 
sales is given 1 lakh rupees. Now we will deduct sales minus cost of sales then profit will come. If sales is less than cost then loss will come. So we will deduct 1 lakh minus 84,000. It means 16,000. This is known as profit and this is balancing figure. By this method we calculate profit and this is the statement as per absorption cost method. Now we will calculate the cost and profit by the method of marginal cost method. We will apply it. Now we will calculate cost and profit as per marginal cost method. These data are same. Now in this uh, method first we will take sales. Sales is given 1 lakh rupees then sales minus variable cost or marginal cost we will take here are two cost two separate cost are given variable cost and fixed cost in office overhead fixed cost and variable cost uh, given we only taken only here we will take only marginal cost or variable cost for example direct material direct material total is 40000 rupees direct labor direct labor 20000 rupees factory overheads for only variable cost factory overheads only variable 6000 rupees and then office overheads for only variable 2000 rupees and then selling and distribution overhead only variable cost will take then we will total it Seventy one thousand is total it means it's marginal cost then we will deduct it then contribution will come contribution we can say c we will deduct it then the remaining value is 29000 then we will deduct from contribution contribution 29000 came then we will deduct fixed cost in fixed cost we taken all the fixed cost here for example, factory overhead for fixed cost 4000 rupees. Then office overhead only for fixed cost 7000 rupees. We take both but in separate manner. First we will take uh, marginal cost and then we'll fixed cost. Then selling and distribution overhead. 2000 rupees then we again total it 13000 then we deduct it and then profit will come if our fixed cost are more than contribution then loss will come now in this method we can easily understand about the profit how we calculate profit by the method of absorption costing and by the method of marginal costing method we can in a short manner we can also calculate marginal cost in short manner its formula is s minus v it means sales minus variable cost is equal to fixed cost plus profit it means when we deduct these values then it's equal to fixed cost plus profit we can also calculate by this and uh, uh, if you have faced any problem then you can ask from me and you can comment me thank you